Okay, let's take a look at the atomic packing factor, or sometimes uh, I like to call it the volume packing fraction. I think it's a little bit more description uh, descriptive, but uh, atomic packing factor is what's most commonly used. And that is the fraction of the volume that's occupied by atoms if we treat the atoms as hard spheres. So to start off, I want to give you a question. What if we um, filled the room that you're in, if I filled the room that you're in with, with spheres, okay? Um, and I packed them up in a face-centered cubic arrangement. So here's face-centered cubic. I'll show you over here. That is, in fact, face-centered cubic. But let's say that those cubes were uh, instead maybe <laughs> the size of this ball that I sit on, okay? This is... Yeah, this is what I sit on in my office. So what if they were all that size? And I filled, filled a room with, with those massive uh, spheres like that, but in the face center cubic arrangement. What fraction of the volume do you think you'd occupy by uh, with the atoms? Or what would be the fraction of airspace around them? You know, for example, would you have 50% uh, of the volume occupied? Would you have maybe 90% of the volume occupied? So get a number in your head. And then I want to ask you another thing. What if I took those spheres now and I shrunk them down? And I shrunk them down even smaller than these. So I shrunk them down to like the green, little grains of sand almost. And I still packed them in a face center cubic arrangement. What fraction of the, the volume do you think you'd occupy then? And would it in fact be less or more? So a lot of people will think that it has gone up. That's a common response, that, that they've packed more space with atoms. And that's what I want to look at right now. Let's figure that out. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to look at the... Uh, atomic packing uh, factor, or commonly just called APF, and I want to look at that for um, <clears throat> for FCC materials, and then also for BCC. So first of all, of course, if this was FCC, we could position some atoms here as we do. Okay, we've got. Let's corner around. We're going to have a front, uh, top face, a front face, a right face, and then we're going to have as well uh, these hidden ones. So one back there, one on that left side, one on the back face, and one on the bottom face. So that is in fact face center cubic. <clears throat> and so the atomic packing fraction then for FCC is must be equal to the volume of atoms treated as spheres, right, divided by the volume of the unit cell, not unit cell, okay, which is, well, how many atoms are inside an FCC unit cell? One-eighth at a corner times eight is one, one-half at each face, six faces is three, the total is four. So we're going to have four times the volume of a single sphere, and the volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. Okay, now we have in the denominator, well, just a simple volume of a cubed, which is going to be a cubed. Um, this is a little irritating because we got an r up in the numerator and a in the denominator. It would be nice if we could clean that up. And in fact, you realize uh, perhaps that we can because we have this relationship a equals 2 root 2 um, r for, um, for, for FCC. Okay, so we can make that substitution, substitute this into the denominator, and we will have that the APF, the atomic packing factor for FCC, is equal to 16 uh, pi r cubed over 3, and I'll just do this out, 2 root 2, all cubed, r cubed. And so you can see the radius cancels, so that's interesting, without even going any further, Radius cancels. So that is, it doesn't matter if the spheres are <laughs> this big, right? Or if the spheres are this big or even smaller. It doesn't matter. The same fraction of the space will be occupied, and that fraction turns out to be 0 0.74. Now, what I want to do is consider the atomic packing factor for body-centered cubic. So let's get ourselves a body-centered cubic unit cell over here. And there's a cube I drew earlier. And let's make that body-centered cubic and proceed with our calculation. So this is going to be body-centered cubic. We're going to have all the cube corners as we do. Okay. 
And then we're going to have one right in the very center of the cube there. And that last one up in the uh, back bottom left corner. So now the atomic packing factor for BCC is, again, we've got the 1 8 at each corner times 8 and uh, times uh, 8 corners, 1 in the very center. So there's 2, and that's again 4 thirds pi r cubed is the volume of a, of a sphere, and divided by, <coughs> divided by a cubed, but you'll recall that for uh, BCC, A equals 4 over root 3 R. So let's go right ahead and <coughs> put that into the denominator, 4 over root 3 R, and that's, um, correction, that's cubed. Okay, there we go. Um, and that is going to be, uh, yeah, that's, that'll, that'll be the volume, 4 over root 3 R, uh, root 3 R, oh, there's, uh, that's what I was looking for, R cubed. And R cancels out again, as we expect it to, to do, and we find that the answer is 0 point, well, this is FCC, this is BCC, and trust me that they are. Um, which one looks like it's got more open space between them? might not be that obvious on the video, I'm not sure, but in fact, face center cubic FCC is more densely packed, and ECC has an atomic packing factor of 0 0.68. Alright, thanks a lot. I hope that um, was useful for you.